But uh, moving on from that subject, uh, I know both of you have put your money into certain, you know, companies, different investments and stuff. So can you guys really talk to us more about that? Like, what have you put your money into? Maybe well, like, what have you put your money into? Tell us first. Real estate. Um, <laughs> me personally, um, okay. Reverse card. <laughs> um, I'm this is our podcast now. Uh, yeah, I, I've just been taking over. Snap. Okay. So uh, I'm currently in the works of trying to buy my first property in North Philly. So that, that's exciting. Real estate, and then I have like this really diverse portfolio with uh, Fidelity, and this is all self-funded, by the way. Like for the past. Love it. Four, four months, I've been working at this vegan place, like 20, 20 hours a week. And then I've had some like passive income as well. So that's helped. But yeah, I think through stocks, ETFs, and real estate, that's that's where most of my passive income comes from. But what about you guys? So, I mean, I want to go back been, to that, uh, that property that you're going to be buying in North Philly. Let's talk about the numbers on that because I think people would be interested in, in the numbers on buying a property and investing. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm still in the looking phase. Like uh, I've raised the capital, but it's just choosing the location right now is is the biggest hurdle. You said North Philly. Where in North Philly, or is it just Philly? It's North Philly, like near Temple, uh, okay. near Broad Street. So I so let's yeah let's talk about this more. So how much funding do you have now? Uh, I really don't want to get into the specifics here. Ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to talk about real estate on an entrepreneur. Okay. Right. See that? So, I mean, okay, okay. Right. I, I just don't want to throw out numbers. <laughs> all right, we don't have to talk about numbers. What type of real estate are you investing in? Rental income, f- flipping a property, wholesaling? What are you What are you looking into? Yeah. So right now, since you know, I I'm barely getting this capital by itself. So I'm trying to just buy the property and being able to rent it out for the next four years. So I have like a passive income while I'm at college. And then after I'll be able to like develop it into something bigger, something maybe I can buy the house behind it, make it like an apartment complex, you know, just grow the land as much as I can. Just like basically saturate it for all its fall mm-hmm. profit. And then, you know, I, it's like every investment I make, I think long term. So like if I ever buy a stock or if I ever buy an investment or like a real estate investment, it's all about long-term growth. So, I mean, nothing I buy, like I usually, I don't sell that for like 10 to 15 years. So I haven't really sold anything yet. So I don't know what my return on investment will be, but yeah, that's, that's my thinking. Mm. I mean, I've been taking advantage of this uh, dip um, yeah. in the stock market. I've been, I've been going all out in China. So I think Tesla, before the dip, Tesla basically lost me about, I think seventeen hundred dollars. Mm, yeah, that hurt. Yeah. I had seven shares of Tesla, and and it just plummeted. We we need to talk about how Hector convinced me to buy Tesla when it was at like seven eighty. I was so. <laughs> oh, I did not convince God. you to do. I told you to buy at your own risk. <laughs> one night when uh, Tesla was at about like five forty or fifty. And you were like, dude, you got to buy, man. This is going to go up to 3000 And then the next day, it went down to like 480 I mean, that's the thing with Tesla. Like, if you're thinking about a short term, like short term and you're day trading or if you're trading for like a month or so, I mean, yeah, I don't know if I would pick that stock. But I guarantee you, if we listen to this back in a year, we're going to be like, wow, I can't even remember when Tesla was at like 580 Dude, TikTok had, had the greatest... Um, had the greatest video on Tesla. It was like, um, Elon Musk owns the company full 180, but Elon Musk owns the company full 180. And it's like, you just never know what's going to happen with Tesla. It's like, there's such pros, um, but then it just like, it just like absolutely rapes you in price. Like it's not, it's not fun. It's just not. Yeah, just and even if you're, even when you're investing long term, Elo, um, you still want to get the best price. You don't want to just overpay just because you know it's going to go up in a year. You still want to get that advantage on the price. Right. And we're in such a volatile market that you you can't really you can't predict when you're going to buy the you know the, the bottom. So that that's why I'm waiting it out. And if I miss if I miss Tesla, I miss Tesla. That's fine because I'm I'm already invested in other companies, and I'm sure everything's going to dip again. Uh, people are are already getting their twelve hundred dollars stimulus check. 
Already? 